Hey guys, welcome to case 2 of Ace Attorney Trilogy. It's part 2, part 3 of this case. Uh, we're going back to the courtroom, I think. Or we're gonna be investigating. I think we're gonna be investigating. Yeah, day 2 investigation. Let's go back. Okay, we're back at detention center. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not You stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yeah! Laugh at the fallen Miss May! No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? Uh, for starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? In our mind, remember. Um, there's nothing to be examined, I guess, because when I yeah when I click examine, it's gonna go away. Ah, never mind. Let's let's go. Wait for the camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room, he hasn't hooked an inch, a real pro. Or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's everything. Let's... Talk to her. Add Matt. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on! No way, Jose! Maybe if I had something to get her to talk... Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so... cold, so criminal. Um, taping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Uh -huh. That does it, bottom feeling scum sucking lawyer! The bottom? I can't tell, does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Yeah, I think it's against all lawyers, you know? Let's try to present her with something. The wire top. Hey, guess what? Actually, I am really hate your guts. So get lost, because well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks. Then. Uh, no. I test on one. Um, I don't think I'll be able to give her anything right now. Let's move. Let's move to Gatewater Hotel right now. Oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare to say so myself. Um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts, they can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. A uh, rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course, it will be a great for business. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. 
it too will become famous. The bad boy who brought the murder ice coffee. Oh, why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? Oh, you're our honored guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Can I examine anything? Wire top place. There's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Oh, please leave that. As it is, sir, that's the drawer of terror, a hiding place of the murderous wiretap. It's said to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious, I don't believe it. Flowers, uh, except my clips of some flowers. Painting. Okay, that's everything that we already checked window oh yeah we plan to install a telescope in that window of course just five bucks will earn you three minutes of a view to a kill just kidding sir oh <laughs> um, by the look in his eyes I'd say he was more than serious the champagne a bottle and two glasses rest on the table why hasn't he cleaned this up by now Oh, I beg your pardon, somebody, if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor, I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous, the talk of the hotel industry. Simple but, it's been recently made, nothing I catch in here. Yeah, there was this champagne. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her sir. Not too bold, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Oh, yeah. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of... Danger. And there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Oh, oh. Hmm. The photo? Could you tell me about mm, this photo? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this photo is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. <laughs> Whatever floats your tea set. Okay. Um, let's go for now. Let's go to our offices. Oh, look. Like forensics is taking the day of today. Detective Gamsh is now inside. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can hurt to take a look around though. Yeah, I think so too. Me has five red potted plants. I guess I have to water it now. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that photo right across the way. Mia's desk, perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. Old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I have to check it out uh, one of these days. He couldn't cram more legal books in here even if he wanted to. All, this case, all the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm, are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Yeah, something has to be missing. Some files are missing. And can I move? Only to Grossberg Law Office.
Uh, looks like Grossberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Oh, mate, mate. Solid mahogany dead, the wood's been polished, the deep plaster. Yeah, I don't care, I want the photo. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A, DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at this. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I borrowed this photo, I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue, I'll take it for now. I think this is mother. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Yeah, swap it for now. What can we take a look? Expensive looking mahogany. They don't like they've ever been red. Table for clients, elegant ebony case, lighter made of solid gold. Okay, never mind, but we have something to show the bellboy. Let's present this photo to him. Take a look at this photo. The team, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Uh, oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with me in April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Uh, yeah, write it. Well, sure, why not? Yeah, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Let's hurry up and write it. Bellboy's affidavit added to the court record. Okay, let's move to the detention center. Okay, so we can talk to Mia's sister. Uh, you again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it when this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Okay, present her the photo. No, present her the affidavit. Would you have looked at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He tell us, tells us everything he saw. That's such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy? No way I'm getting somewhere. Push her! This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed, that's enough. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a killed day with his reputation. Uh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yeah, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in there? <clears throat> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man is my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White. Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. Um, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at least. 
finally a lead on this guy. April Mike couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bye boys, I see David discarded. Okay. And if I move now to Grossberg. Hmm. Oh, that old familiar crink of the throat. <laughs> you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well, you are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial. She was there. Reminded me of myself when I was young. I guess something got passed down through me, yeah, maybe. It brings back memories, it does. Ah, uh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lamb, you see? I apologize. Uh, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I why. I appreciate the many thing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. Let's talk with him. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yeah, yeah I did. Something was bothering me all last night. You see, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you are that worried about it, why didn't you offer the defense her? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry, it's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big pretentious looking painting on the wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know, the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Oh, yeah, well, I, I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I sold it, you see, yeah. That's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't... I... Okay. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? Give it back at once! I'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know who is this man. He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. What that you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? What has him to fluster, I wonder? Hey, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. One side and a stone, rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Oh, okay. And we can't take the other photo. But, uh, but we can go to the blue corp. Ah! He has the same thing. What is the surreal deco? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the... Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. I think it's right. It's the right, is it? Right, I see. Let me be first. That boy was talking like that. Perhaps I have intimidated you, you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm right, why? CEO of Blue Corp, you know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the lead. I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the world. Worldly challenged. What a mother. 
What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? This guy arrogance matter is off the scale. Let's examine his office. A statue of man holding up the world. The blue corp sign instantly stands out enough. The model for the man is of course Mr. Y. Really work of art, but probably too beautiful for you to appreciate, correct? To beauty shoes for just about anyone to appreciate. Okay. Rewards. Impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner up. Best participation. Judges cooperation award. Special good try prize. The words judges and special kind of stand out. And that's the painting. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Really ghosty. I have no interest in anything but originals. That's right, there's a bona fide original worth 5 million for sure. Hmm. No? This is the top floor of a 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. And his desk is presidential. His desk is really presidential. <laughs> I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My mind, quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does it slick run that you're not inspired here? Okay, we examined everything. Let's try to talk with him. It's May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? No, she was my secretary. What a shock it was to hear what she had done. Uh, what she has done, you mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Typing them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal me methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. He's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Yeah, I think so too. On the night of the murder, were you in April's, April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is don't worry, be happy. Feel, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he, has, he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases, I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as witness? He should have seen the same thing as April Mai. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts, to me they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I built this business up in the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I. Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? There'll be painting on the wall over there. When did you get it? When did you get the painting? Hmm, no idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before, yesterday in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. 
Mer lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse of an attorney, Grody Burger. What? Punched me? Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with an assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Hit my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say, but I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand, it is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossberg, yeah. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, Kidado. There is nothing more to discuss. Yeah, I think so too. And I have nothing for you, so... Let's go to Grossberg for now. He didn't notice me. Maybe I should clear my throat. Hmm. Jumping Jahosa. That's so fat. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm, I'm not seen either yet. I was just thinking about this whole match. Nothing's really bothering him that much here. Talk about Mr. White. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, uh, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. Uh, it is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected. Somehow. Who next did you say? Yeah, and I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I think that painting is fairly good to prove. Very well, this might be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest, so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you are Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is the company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name of the, on the back of the photograph. It is suspected. I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. Why it would have destroyed me if I did? That's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be me on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Okay, the DL6. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. Medium. Her name was Misty Fay. Fay. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. 
I did all I could for her and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense, the police didn't want people to know they were using a magic. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I, I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I thought the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. Ah, see. White controls the law of this country as his feet. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. Bunny is looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grothberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases of the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A to I. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. A, B, F, Misty Faye. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Yeah, read it. I have tarnished the fa I have tarnished the fine name. Leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an alias to do that. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Rosberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who told that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune in threats and coercions. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. To me a new Grossberg. Okay. J to S. Let's see, J through S, nothing much. Yes, give it. The biggest parts here at the end in S, suicide. There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of this in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought she was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Let's try Blue Corp. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick school. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I may max do I make myself clear? Transparent. We'll try it even though. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. It was an buzzing secret government phone. Then one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filed with articles like this. 
every one of them was labeled with a single word. Why? Mr. White, I know what you did to hit this politician. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Rock. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office? Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir, I sent someone right away. The second, Mr. White. You're wrong, Mr. White. You asked me? What I should be doing now is going after you. But what are you insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping thoughts. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about your mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be. Even a child would work it out, Mr. White. You did it! Secretary's office? We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Why? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? Let me a fake case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And, so, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I did you say you didn't want to go to the court. Quiet, dude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and the other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer. Man. What? Mr. White, this is another one of those. Chief prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Didn't I not tell you, Mr. Wang, you are a mere lawyer? As was me and me. How dare you? I point the finger at you and you will be tried. Right. As Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any work will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given lawyers so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I feel fine. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, but hurry back. Right, actually, Phoenix right, and my friend's name is Larry. <laughs> right, sorry, pal. That was the murder, right? Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Okay, next day. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me and the prosecution will be in on it. Of course, Edward included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused, I had an idea. Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, I let you out of detention. Just now, yes, it's all thanks to you. Huh, now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother? My sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Rod, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... If 
second main card. All right, give me my defense lawyer tomorrow. Huh? Listen to me, I'm me a sister of law. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ghost powers that run in your blood? I'd better run to the blood store and pick up a copy of Love for Rookies. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding, it was a joke. No way. Oh, really, I was kidding. But thanks. Good to know you're on my side. And there's really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. A piece? Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Times may change it with crime. It's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness, this is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. To be continued. Oh my god, at least four parts for 1k. Save the game. Thanks guys for watching and see you again in the next part where I think we're gonna be going to the court again, this time to defend ourselves from verdict of guilty.